it is cycle day, I believe it's cycle day five. Um, yeah, yeah, it's cycle day five. I think it's cycle day five. <laughs> I will check on that. But uh, October 24th, Monday. So I've started LH testing again and I took a couple tests. I'm at work again, this is lunch break. So I'm going to call the bank and have them resend it. It's, it's supposed to be getting back to the bank today um, because I sent it back. And so then it can go back out tomorrow in a brand new recharge tank and get back to me on Thursday. And so oh, let me just see what my LH strips are looking like. I pretty much ended um, a period yesterday and so I just want to see what the LH strips look like. So here is my easy at home and we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so it's picking up and looking good and light enough that I would think the sperm would get here on time if I have it come on Thursday. So that is good and then obviously this is going to be negative, yes. So I'll turn the camera around and show these to you and uh, we'll just see what happens this week and I'll call the bank and have them resend the sperm and it should come this Thursday. So today's day five, so six, seven, eight. So that would be cycle day eight. So that means I would might ovulate cycle day nine or 10, which I think would be just fine. So not cycle day six, of course. So that would be tomorrow. So I'm not going to see last time, like two times ago, I got a surge on cycle day five, which is now. So I got a positive surge on a day like today, <laughs> two cycles ago. So that was not good and yeah. So anyway, I'll, sh I'll turn this around and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's my easy at home. And the line is, I think, in a safe place for cycle day five. So that's good. This was, of course, an empty circle. This, however, is a pretty strong line. And I do need, I have one stick left and then I have to buy a whole new kit. So, yeah, I don't know. It could start flashing tomorrow and I might just buy the pink holder. I don't want to see flashing. I want yes or no. I don't I don't like flashing smiley faces for seven days. <laughs> I did not like that last time. And that's happened before, but I wasn't able to buy a pink holder. Those are only sold at Target as far as I know now. I mean, for, for me in my area. Walmart in my area does not carry the pink holder anymore. So just the purple. All right, so I will be back tomorrow, cycle day six, and test again and see what happens. Okay, it is October 25th. It is cycle day six. It's only cycle day six. Uh, things are progressing, you know, so the sperm are coming on Thursday. And so I really need to ovulate like on Friday <laughs> if I surge so early. So, you know, obviously I would love to surge uh, or surge on Friday or Saturday and ovulate on day 10 or 11. But Anyway, uh, let's, I've taken the tests. I've taken clear blue digital. I bought the pink holder. So I'm just gonna, I have one stick of the purple left, but I'm just gonna set that aside for now. Stick to the pink for this particular testing period. And I also took an LH strip from Easy at Home. And so I'm gonna take a look at the Easy at Home now and see how dark the line is getting. I hope it's not too dark. I certainly hope it's not positive right now. Cycle day six, no sperm. Okay. <laughs> All right, here goes. And good. Okay, it is a little bit darker than yesterday, uh, but it's, it's negative still. You can see that in the sunlight there. good news. Last night when I picked up Hannah from school, all of a sudden my right ovary had a major pulling sensation and I'm like, you gotta be kidding, stay in there. And then shortly after then my left ovary made a, you know, its appearance, <laughs> made itself known. So I'm like, wow, cause cycle day five, we read that cycle day five to seven is when the dominant follicle is selected and the rest of the other follicles die off and degenerate so and then there's that one 
follicle, dominant follicle. So I was wondering yesterday if that was happening right then. Anyway, so this will be negative and it's turned off. Yep, negative. So that is negative, thank goodness. And we'll take a look at the line and it's nice and light, that is good. Okay, that makes me very happy. Um, <laughs> it's like, I mean, I have two cycles ago, I, I surged on this day and ovulated. It was, it was really bad, but that's just the way it goes. You know, like I said, uh, this is just what it's going to be for me probably from now on, just hoping and praying that I can get a normal stretch of a follicular phase, um, a good solid ovulation and a good solid luteal phase. Those are my hopes and goals. And I'll show you these to test now and uh, go from there. Um, I'm having trouble taking pictures, like I said, because of my new phone, it won't even focus and it takes it. So, cause I love giving the ratio, the pre-mom ratio, you know, with the app, you take a picture and it'll give you a ratio. And I'm just having trouble doing that with this phone and I don't know if I need to delete the app. The problem is if I delete the app, it, it said it'll delete all of my previous data. And I like to go back and look at, you know, especially the cycle I was pregnant on um, back in September, you know, of last year. I like looking at my temperatures. Um, oh, by the way, my temperatures are total ovulation temperatures. So I, my body is preparing. So, and I'll always, and I like to put those down at the bottom of the screen, so I'll keep those down there too. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around and show this to you. Okay, so here is my Easy at Home. And if I could guess, I bet that would be a 0.4 something, just because I've been doing this long enough. And, but I'll, I'll try to take a picture. We'll see how good I am. <laughs> and then this is very light, which I am glad and then that disappeared, but it was an empty circle. So let me see if I can take a picture of this, see if it'll do it. Okay, after several attempts, I did manage to get a picture from super far away. So it gave it a 0.33, so I was close. I said 0.4, so 0.33, I was almost at a, I was almost right, so that's cool. Yeah, so not bad for cycle day six. So, okay, well, that is it for now, and I will be back tomorrow, and we'll test again on cycle day seven. This is cycle day seven, Wednesday. Tomorrow, my sperm are to arrive. And so I took an LH strip, easy at home, and the pink clear blue digital, and I'm gonna look at the LH. So this is where I start to get a little excited uh, and hopeful that this cycle is going to be normal. So I'm hoping for a darker line <laughs> and uh, anything is possible at this point. So let's take a look and see what it looks like and it's looking good. It's not matching. It's not matching. So. Uh, so yeah, so this automatically tells me my pink holder will be negative. So, yep, empty circle. And yeah, the line is getting dark. Okay, because the line was really pretty light yesterday for the pink, for this pink. So it's it's got some, some color now, let me tell you. So, okay. So this, uh, well, I'm gonna test tonight. When this, when it starts to get like this, I do the afternoon, one o'clock, well, it's 12.39 right now. And then I'll do probably seven or eight o'clock tonight. I will test again. At this point, I will start doing twice a day testing. And when I really am rich in LH strips with the easy at home, I do morning as well. I do need to buy more though. I only have like six, six tests left, so. I'm going to go, I'm going to order some on Amazon, get some of those. I always wonder, should I buy the combo pack with the LH strips and the pregnancy tests? But I have yet to even, I, I have a brand new pack. So I have 25 pregnancy tests. I figure if I do get pregnant and lines start to show up, I can always, there's always time I can get it almost same day sometimes. 
and I can get more then I think I'll just I'll hold off so because if I get pregnant I'm gonna take a bazillion tests every day all day long just because I want to see that line all the time <laughs> all day long and I know a lot of you can relate to that so anyway I'll turn this around and I'll show it to you and that will conclude uh, this afternoon um, I might just film tonight we'll see what happens so I'll show you what this looks like Okay, so I managed to take a picture, sorry about the sunlight, and it gave it a 0 0.41, which I'm having a hard time with that. I just feel like it, it should be a 0 0.5 or 6, but anyway, like I said before, the app's not agreeing with my new phone, and it will not let me take a close-up. And then this is definitely getting darker, so you can see the test line on the left is really starting to get darker blue and so that's exciting and of course that's turned off by now so all right I'm probably I'm going to test tonight and if it's if it's the same I won't post it because I just want to try to keep this as short as possible I don't want to make this a gigantic long video so if it's um, the same and not yet positive then I will not include that but I will be testing tonight for sure and from here on out so all right I will see you at the next test Okay, it is 6.45 in the morning. I've taken an LH strip um, just to see what second morning urine would look like because first morning urine is very diluted for me because I drink a bunch of water before I go to bed. So um, I, I always have different, very different readings from first to second. So anyway, I took second morning urine and before I covered it up on the LH strip, I could see the test line appearing already. So I uh, haven't done the digital yet, but let's see what the LH strip looks like real quick. Okay, looks like I don't have a bad shadow. Let's see what this looks like. Oh Lord, okay, well. Okay, that's positive. So yeah, that's totally positive. I'm gonna try and take a picture and see what it gives me and see what the digital does. So I don't know if that's showing up very well on camera, but the test line is just slightly darker than the control line, so I think by lunchtime, it might be a dice dealer, or might be a dice dealer tonight. But either way, it is a positive reading. So I'm gonna take the clear blue pink digital right now and see what it looks like. See, you know, if it gives me a smiley face right away or if I'm right on the edge. Okay, um, I finally got a picture. The app gave it a 1.4. So this is definitely gonna be positive. Yeah. Okay, yay! Hooray, hooray, okay. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it's now 6.54 a.m. October 27th, Thursday. And cycle day 8, and that's okay. I'm not going to dictate when my egg is ready. I'm going to hope and believe and pray that my egg is going to be ripe and ready to go. And let's take a look at this line real quick. Okay, so there's that, 1.4 for the ratio. Nice solid dark line there. And of course, a positive smiley face. And so that's exciting, I'm excited. Early morning, second morning urine, positive. So uh, yeah. I'll explain a little bit more a little later. I gotta get Hannah up for school. I gotta leave for work. And so I will see you at lunchtime. I'm gonna test again and see if this is becomes more of a real, you know, dramatic dye stealer, but it's definitely, you can see that's darker. Okay, I just took this and both purple and pink tests agree with each other. I think you've seen before in the past where that has not always been the case. So with the same urine, I did the, I did my very last purple test and it is a static smiley face with the same urine as the pink. So that's exciting. I'm excited. Anyway, that is it. My surge is on. I'm excited. 
and I'll talk more at my lunch about what I'm gonna do next. And sorry about the shadows, but to show you what the line looks like, wow, got a die stealer on the digital, so that's cool. The pink, they're pretty much matching, but this is definitely darker than the control line. So test line is on the left and control line is on the right. All right, so I will talk a little bit more at lunch about what happens next. Okay, it is lunch time. So uh, you saw that I surged, I started my search this morning and the line on the easy at home was just a little bit darker than the control line. And the app gave it, the pre-mom app, when you take the picture, gave it a, a 1.4. And then my two digitals were positive as well. And so I'm just gonna, I took, I took another LH strip from Easy at Home just now to see if it's a super dice dealer now or, or what, but, it, cause that's just fun. I, so I'm, I'm doing this for fun now. And, um, but I'm having my surge and so, the sperm actually uh, arrived today. And so from the Texas bank that I have switched to, and so it comes today. And uh, so the plan is I'm going to inseminate tonight uh, as late as I can before I go to bed. So I'm gonna inseminate tonight and hopefully I will ovulate tomorrow morning. That would be great. And then uh, something else I wanted to say I don't know. I think that's about it. So, uh, yeah. So, so yeah. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. And I will attempt to take a picture of it and see if it's super, super dark. And it's about the same. <laughs> it's about the same as it was this morning. And it's not a dice dealer every time, but I mean, this is a little bit darker than the control line. It, they almost look matching so because I did have some water earlier so you can see it's still a little bit darker but they also look like you could just say that they're matching as well so but yeah this morning was definitely a little bit darker and of course the two digitals are positive so who knows tonight it might be a super dice dealer but otherwise um, this might be as good as it gets who knows so, but if it stops right here and this is as dark as it gets, who cares? It's a positive surge and I'm excited to do this finally after I don't even know how many failed cycles I've had since I've had COVID before I could finally have a, a true, real, actual chance. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate your kindness and support and encouragement. It really always means so much to me. I so appreciate it and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna inseminate tonight and hopefully ovulate tomorrow morning. And so, so Saturday would be one DPO. All right, so I will see you next time, bye.